Hi, Hot Road Productions here with another Transformer review. So today we're going to be reviewing Transformers Earthrise Hoist. And here he is, and now let's first look at the robot mode. So as you can see, the legs are picked out in green, silver, orange and white and with the arms it's picked out in green and white on the chest has a Autobot symbol I like how they added the chest window the top there like in the cartoon and his head he's picked out in black with with blue visors and a silver mouth plate. I think his head sculpt looks cool. Then there's the back. So that's it for the looks of the robot mode. So before I get down to articulation, I will show you what you can do with the accessories, he only comes with one accessory. He only comes with his hand cannon. You can have it with have him without the hand cannon, or you can have him with the hand cannon. Or you can have him, like I said. It's hard to get out now, so it's hard to get in now. It's hard to get out. Without the hand cannon. So that's it for the accessories. So now I'll show you the articulation. First things first, we will start with the head. Can rotate a full 360. It can also look up and down. The arms, if you get this out of the way, can rotate a full 360 backwards and forwards. And this part of the arm can also come up and down. If you leave the arm up like this, his arm, this part of the arm can also rotate a full 360. Also, he also has a nice elbow bend there as well as wrist articulation rotation I mean wrist rotation and um, for the waist he has a little bit of a waist swivel which is cool with the legs can go forward that far you can do a kick and go can go back that far and then if you get the hand, the arm out of the way you can get him to do the four middle splits and he also has a thigh swivel as well as a double knee bend and he also has an ankle tilt so that's it for the articulation. And I'll, I will mention that I do have one complaint with, with the transformation. Is the, when you transform after you've done the sides and after you've done the sides, you go, you, there's this, oh, there's an orange bit here. The tabs in there somewhere and then it just gets in the way when you're doing the knees so that's just one problem I have with mine I may not have the pro the, that problem with yours but I have it with mine so now let's start with the transformation so first things first you come around to the back you bring these 
down. You bring this down. Untab the back piece. Bring it up so then it's sitting like that. Then you come to the head, fold it in so it snaps into place. So there. Now, come, now you come to the arms. You rotate around so the palms of the hand will be facing in that direction. So then, next thing you do with the arms is you bring them up, all the way up like this. Slightly bend the elbows, like that. Then bring the arms all the way forward. Next, you take the chest piece and fold it up so it's sitting on the window. On the window part. So now we will move on to the next bit of the transformation, which is the part that I was telling you about. With this piece, this orange piece has to go into that green bit there, but the when arms get in the way when you do the when you fold in the knee it, it kind of flops out when you're trying to do or try and flops out like that so that's the only problem I have with that bit of the transformation so now okay, we're going with the transformation so because of what I just said I'll just do the knees First, so the knees, I'll just do the knees before the arms and the other thing. This isn't what the instructions tell you to do, but I'm going to do it anyway because it'll be much easier. Then you bring the arms down so I tab in like that. Then Bring this orange piece here and it'll tab into the back of the vehicle like that. So there's some of the there's some of the transformation done. So the next thing is you come to the back piece and there's a couple of holes and a couple of pegs that Tab into these pegs here and these holes here. It folds in and then tabs in like so. Then you come to the hood part and bring the hood down. Then you bring the arms so they're just resting like that in the bottom of the vehicle. And that's pretty much it for the transformation. Next thing you can do is take spit and fold the, the, white, pit, the white bit back into there. Then if you want, you can fold this back in and have him looking like that. Or you can bring it back out. And if you have Iron Works or the Shield Guy, I don't know his name. All I know is he transforms into a shield. So they can both attach to here. That's pretty much all you can do with a car mode. So, or if you want, you can
I can't get it. The Y thing is stuck. <laughs> it's stuck. Hang on, I'll get it out. There we go. Or you can have it like that. Then have him like that. Or you can have him how he was when he was first transformed. So that's pretty much it for the vehicle mode. I can show you what he looks like in the vehicle mode. Now. So as you can see at the side, he has yellow and black stripes. Then a stripe, I think that's cool. Black windows there. He also has a translucent blue window for the front window, which is cool. He also has translucent blue for the tail, for the front tail, the front lights, and the front headlights. And that's pretty much it for the vehicle mode. Um, now I'll show you how you can transform him back into robot mode. It's pretty much just the just the vehicle transformation in reverse. Basically, just put that in reverse. So this white thing is already out. So then you just untab the hood, tap the arms from there. Then you untab the arms, and then you untab the hood. Then you untab all this. Then untab the orange bit. Then bring out the knees. Bring all of that back up. Then untab all the arms from the sides there. So then he's looking like that. And then... You bring down the shoulder, the, the front piece, and it'll tab in. Mine doesn't want to tab in, but tabs in. There, like that. Then come to the arms, rotate them back down, bring part of the arm back down, rotate. Back around, then you come to the back or to the head, and without detaching the front, like I just did. Then you come to the back, and it's all attached back in there like that. Then you just bring these two orange pieces up and bring the orange piece back up. So now he's in robot mode again. And one more thing I want to mention is that Hoist was actually the third Earth Rise figure I got out of all of the Wave 1 Earth Rise Luxes. So I just thought I would mention that. So that's it for the video. Um, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.